Hello everybody. Um, I'm really pleased to be here with you today for this week's assembly. Uh, my name is Mr Hodkin, for those of you who don't know me, uh, and I am a teacher in year three. It has been another unpredictable week, um, and I'm sure, just like me, you're looking forward to um, us getting back to normal. As you know, on Wednesday this week, uh, we could not open our school because of the problems we had with the water. Um, and that was the same for schools all across Newham. But we dealt with it brilliantly. Um, the response to the online learning was magnificent. Um, it was so great uh, to see the engagement with that and how many people were able to still continue their learning from home. So big, big, big well done. Sometimes in tricky times, we need to adapt. Um, and you all did that brilliantly. Um, we could see grandmas, granddads, big brothers, big sisters, mums, dads, everybody helping out. Um, it really pulled us together and you did a fantastic job. Really, really well done. Um, I also want to say a big well done to um, my friends and the teachers here and all the staff um, who pulled together as well to make that happen. It was a fantastic achievement. Now, speaking of great people, um, over the past couple of weeks, we've had our um, house captain elections in upper school. So they've voted for who they would like to represent us for the whole school. We have four houses at Park. We have Oak, Maple, Birch and Sycamore. And each house has two house captains uh, and they have been elected this week. I think we need to meet our new house captains. Guys, over to you. Can we make a joke? Oh, what joke? I don't know. Any jokes? I am sad. What? Oh, <laughs> that um... was a joke itself. Maple, maple, maple. Gauge direction. Is it here? Is, is the camera here? Both of you. Hi. 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 Maple, maple. Look alive. <laughs> Hello, I am your new house captain for Oak, and I hope we'll have lots of fun together. I am very excited about this role and everything which comes with it. Hello, I am who shall not be named as uh, your current house captain for Oak and hope we get to do many projects like these in the future. Here is our motivational message for Oak. Emotive things, emotive things and emotive things. And always remember to be caring, confident, creative and above all aspirational. Hello, I'm one of your house captains for Maple this year, and um, yes, okay, <laughs> perfect. Hi, I'm your second house captain in Maple this year, and I hope that we will have a lovely year. This is our message for you, Maple House. Uh, with a caring attitude, we can do. You can do anything and achieve everything. Hi, I'm one of your new house captains in Birch, and I can't wait to help film the assemblies. Hi, I'm one house captain in Birch. I would like to make this place a better place by helping people if they're lonely, helping my team win in a challenging and fun way. I would like to help the school to um, always be like working together. Um... Introduce yourself to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, we are house captain, yeah, house captain of Sycamore. Sycamore. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you for voting us as your house captains. This means that we would be able to fulfil your needs and wants if you really, really want. Thank you for voting for us and for me. I'm really pleased for voting us. I will try to make the school and try to make the school a better place. But we can't do it by ourselves, so we need you! Yes, we need you. Never, never leave something you can do today for another day. So, my advice to you, little junior birds in Sycamore, to be brave, cooperate with others, and be friends with everyone. Last of all, you need to seize the day. Don't let it escape from you. Grab it with both hands and take every opportunity life gives you. I think we are in very safe hands with most of those house captains, all of those house captains, all of those house captains are fantastic choices and I'm very pleased to see them all be elected. Um, maybe you can tell your house captain if you get some house points this week um, for showing your fantastic learning powers. They had some great ideas about what a good leader is. Um, I think a good leader should be someone who's, who's honest and approachable. 
um, somebody that is is caring as well, um, and somebody who who believes what they say uh, who, and who really means it. Uh, and I think we've got some great examples of that. A good leader should make us feel safe and secure. Can you think of any good examples of leaders that you might know? House captains, what do you think about leadership? What is a leader? Well, that's a very good question. I think a leader should be um, making a bunch of promises and following through with a third of them. Because that's what leaders do nowadays. It's 2020 and this is what a leader is. I think a leader should listen to everybody because we're not technically in charge, we're just the one who carries messages from all our fellow pupils at Park. If you were to give one tip to the Prime Minister, what would it be? I would give a tip to the Prime Minister. My tip to the Prime Minister, Prime Minister would be free food for everyone, especially my favourite food. Which really does inspire you? Um, I think Rosa Parks inspires me. Oh, oh cool. <laughs> oh great. Well, Jurgen Klopp inspires me because when we were playing, when Liverpool was losing, he was encouraged the team to do their best. Why do you think you will be a good house captain of Sydney? Because I have been play leader, meaning I have can solve pro problems in the playground. L listening for your ideas is just a minor stretch compared to solving your problems. <laughs> what? What about you? I will, I think I will be a good house captain or sickman because I'll help sickman to be best. Oh, hello. You just caught me reading one of my favourite books again. Um, right, we are going to do um, some of our stars and we're going to start this week with year five and six. Um, so, in... Gandhi class. Big well done to Ephraim. Well done, Ephraim. In Helen Keller class. Well done, Nora. In Rosa Parks class. Well done, Carolina. Now you'll notice those dramatic pauses are not because I'm forgetting, they're just to really build the tension. I hope you can feel that in the classrooms. Um, next, in year six, um, in Mandela class, well done to Geordie. In Malala class, oh, this is a great choice. I'm really pleased about this one. Huge well done, Navaya Joy. And finally, in year six, in Pankhurst class, well done, Lara. I want to share with you an amazing book, and it's one that's quite special to Park, actually. I don't know if you remember, but this book, Mr. Bunny's Chocolate Factory, won our Lollies Award. So that was the, the award that Michael Rosen gave, um, I believe, to this book, Mr. Bunny's Chocolate Factory. And this book deals with some of those issues about leadership. Do you remember this? <laughs> Mr. Bunny's Chocolate Factory is a story about Mr. Bunny. Now he's a leader of a factory and he decides that he's going to get all of his hens to work harder and harder and lay more and more chocolate eggs. So the hens, they don't like this very much and they decide they're going to rebel and they go on strike and they say, actually, I think we can do things a little bit better than Mr. Bunny. And as a collective, as a group, they decide that they are going to run the factory. Now, this is a different kind of leadership and it shows that actually it doesn't need one person. Sometimes leadership can be about a group of people showing their collective responsibility. Um, and this book really demonstrates that, but in a really funny way. Um, Mr. Bunny, as you can see, look, he thinks he's pretty great. Um, but the hens, they disagree. Um, I would highly, highly recommend this book. Um, it's very funny, but there's also a really good story about different kinds of leadership. Maybe if you want to know even more about this book, you should speak to our house captains. Oh, 
hello again. You've just caught me reading another book about rabbits. I love rabbit books, clearly. Okay, this time we're going to be doing our stars for year three and four. Um, some say the best year groups in the school. So, in Da Vinci class, big congratulations to Zainab. In Galileo class, well done, Srinav. And in Edison class, Adam, big well done this week. In year four, in Berners-Lee class, well done to Amara. In Hawking class, well done this week to Keshev. And finally, in Brunel class, big well done to Daisy. Now it is time for us to spend a little bit of time with one of our classes. Let's go to Miss Chandra Raj's class in year one to see what they've been learning about. Buckle your seatbelts, guys. It's going to be a good one. Welcome to Orthid Khan Ascendant. Feelings. Feelings! We all love feelings. Let's find out about them. When I feel brave. I do stop for making me scared. I get sad. <coughs> I must go or I has been busy practicing our times tables and I hope you have too. Like I promised last week, we have a very big announcement coming today. Drum roll please. 
Rockstar drum roll. And that is our annual TT Rockstars Park Primary School World Cup begins today. So every week you will battle a class in your year group. Then we will have year group champions. Then you will battle a class in your phase. Then we'll have phase champions. And then we will have the ultimate TT Rockstar World Cup Park Primary Champion of Champions Rockstar of Rockstars competition a little bit later in the term. So for now, I just need to tell you which classes are battling this week. Are you ready? Here we go. In year three, we have Edison versus Da Vinci. In year four, we're starting off with Berners-Lee versus Hawking class. In year five, it is Gandhi versus Helen Keller. And in year six, I don't know why Mandela class get to go first, but it's Mandela class versus Pankhurst. So battles begin after school today at four o'clock and battles finish next Thursday evening. So we will be ready to announce the winners in next Friday assemblies video. The only rules are no player is allowed to score more than 5,000 points and everybody has to rock hard. If we have a class where every single person in that class plays, they will get a bonus, 5,000 points. So go and persuade your classmates, go home and annoy your families and start rocking. Are we ready, guys? Rock on! This isn't a book. Okay. Over to our stars um, in nursery. So, in Little Park, well done to Amira, who's in Mexia class. Well done to Khalil in Tenzin class. And well done to Kea, who is in Coleman class. Now, to reception stars. In Jenison class, well done, Mikhail. In MacArthur class, well done, Stuart. And finally, in Seacole class, well done, Beatrice. Year one stars. Okay, we've got three brilliant stars in Aldrin, Attenborough, and Marco Polo. So, in Aldrin class, well done, Isla. In Attenborough class, well done, Suha. And in Marco Polo class, well done, Daniel. Lastly, but by no means least, um, our year two stars this week are in Einstein class, Asatu, well done. In Marie Curie class, well done, Scout. And in Pasteur class, well done, Prita. Big well done to all our stars this week. And that is the end of our assembly this week. Thank you all for tuning in um, and thank you all for doing us proud again this week. Next week, I'm handing over to the brilliant Miss Critchley um, and she's going to talk to us a little bit about um, how we can show care for each other. Um, I also, I've heard that Mr. Fisher has an extravaganza planned um, from his classroom. So have a great weekend, everybody. And we'll see you all next week. Bye.